The one that I think from a standard perspective that's most commonly misunderstood is how to do an assessment of risk. People understand the facility piece, the garbing piece. They may not get all of the information there, but they understand what the components are. But the assessment of risk is a new process to most people. This is a way that you take a look in an individual setting about the drugs you use, the way you get them in, if you need to manipulate them before you administer them or handle them on a patient level, all the way up to the point of discarding them. The assessment of risk is done and it's, it's like looking at your policy and procedure. So it's a development of not only what's required in 800 from a standard organization, but also how are you gonna implement that in your own organization. So you take a look at the drugs that you use, the dosage forms that you use, and I tend to think of it as how do I get something in and what do I have to do with it before I, I either dispense it for patient use or administer it if I were a nurse. Those are all the pieces that need to be done in there. So the assessment of risk needs to be a document, it doesn't have to be written, it can be electronic, but it needs to be a comprehensive document of all of the drugs drilled down to the dosage form level that you in your organization use at that site and how you're going to do it and protect employees. The hazardous drug approach is all based on this assessment of risk. It's taking a look at a list of hazardous drugs that have been developed by NIOSH, identifying which ones you use and whether you have to manipulate them or not. That provides a framework for consistency among organizations that can determine what they're going to do in their own organization and how they're going to use them. There's two different issues that confuse people a bit, and it's probably because the name hazardous and that word hazardous is in both of them. Waste haulers identify drugs, and they're really hazardous materials at that point, some of which are drugs. They are a hazard to the environment. So your waste hauler list is a list of hazardous materials, some of which are drugs, that need to be handled a separate way. That's a totally different situation from what we need to do for USP 800. USP 800 uses the NIOSH list of hazardous drugs. These are drugs that are hazardous to us as healthcare workers. What is further confusing to people is there are a handful of drugs, about seven or eight of them, that are on both of those lists. So you have to pay attention to both sets of standards. The workflow that 800 brings to nursing units and procedural areas as well, imaging, surgical suites, lots of other places, the way that we need to address this is that nursing and other disciplines who are involved in this need to be part of that process that are developing the assessment of risk. We can't just say, for example, I'm a pharmacist. I couldn't just say, well, here's how nursing should do this, or here's how other practitioners should do this. We need to make sure that as each site is developing this assessment of risk, that they involve those other disciplines so that the workflow and how people really move things through the system will be very apparent and will be included in that assessment of risk.